Hello viewers, whether you be on YouTube or any anyone who links to YouTube, this is a loop matching transformer demonstration video. I'm going to use pretty much a universal 25 volt, 70 volt, because it'll operate at either a speaker matching transformer. This transformer is used to match a, a loudspeaker in a public address system to either a 25 volt line or 70 volt audio line, and the uh, primary taps allow for selectable drive power to the speaker and that's based on the amplifier doing full power at 25 volt line or 70 volt line. Transformer is a linear device therefore even though this is a 4 watt transformer it'll work fine all the way down into the microwatts and even lower so because of its uh, low cost less than $11 at MCM Audio and because of its ready availability made by Atlas Sound for PA use and being a 4 watt small size that probably won't get discontinued this is a good candidate for a loop transformer I've already tested it and it's got a wide variety of, of impedances it's got eight different taps so it'll match a wide variety of loop configurations this particular loop is 12 turns of number 14 wire and the loop is made out of 3 quarter inch PVC water pipe and it has about 12 turns in it so this is a pretty small aperture loop and a small pickup area and I'm going to demonstrate uh, how, how well it picks up the lightning at the present time is about 500 miles away so we'll be hearing spherics that were generated by 500 mile away lightning and I'm going to put the headphone over the, over the uh, camcorder mic then we'll pan around and we'll show the receiver and then the transformer demonstration board this is my handheld receiver. It has an earphone element in it as a speaker and it has an input impedance when it's uh, plugged in as a unbalanced input. It has an input impedance of about 750 ohms. It also has a transformer in it. Uh, it's a 1K to 200K transformer so we have a total voltage step up here of probably oh, oh a good uh, a good 700 times are all between the two transformers so we're taking a 12 turn loop and stepping its voltage up oh somewhere probably between about oh about 2,000 times or so or even all the way up to about 60 60,000 or so pretty pretty radical bug on my hand <laughs> embarrassing but uh, this is the receiver and then we'll do the board I'll give you the details on the transformer after we come out of pause too Okay, as I was saying, the transformer is made by Atlas Sound. It's a 25 volt and 70 volt uh, speaker line transformer. The Atlas model number is LT72. The Atlas part number is 252351P. If you're in the United States or if MCM Audio will ship worldwide, the MCM part number is 555 06. Now the noise we hear right now is because the receiver is not connected at all. So the first thing we'll do is we'll connect it to the orange wire which would be the 200 ohm tap and uh, we're using the black wire as the common and the black wire has got a clear piece of wire that go, goes over. It's soldered to the transformer frame. Then a ground wire goes from the transformer frame to one of the input leads. It's uh, secondary as it's used in a PA system but as a loop transformer it's used as a step up transformer so the side they call secondary is now primary. Now you see a resistor and a capacitor network across what we're using as a primary and a uh, grounded one side and a resistor 120 ohms in parallel with a .001 or what some people may call a 102. This capacitor and, and grounding arrangement reduces the tendency for it to pick up electrostatically induced noise and because everything's in close proximity avoids oscillation due to electrostatic coupling. So the first one you're going to hear is orange wire 200 ohm. Lightning and spherics at 500 miles. Second wire we're going to hear is the violet wire which is 392 ohms. third wire is white with a green stripe white green 880 ohms
Next wire, brown wire, 1.6K. Next wire, blue wire, 3.2K. Next, yellow wire, 7.2K. Get on that thing. There we go. Yellow wire, 7.2K. You'll notice the volume is starting to fall off. We're mismatched, starting to mismatch the impedance. This one ideally latched in at about 3.2K. So in this particular setup, the 3.2K gave the best result. Uh, at the lower settings, you notice that the spheres were louder and the high frequency content of the buzz was more. I think I can reach the white one, which would be 16.2K. And you see that volume's lower and we're losing spheres. Okay, we're going to go back to the 3.2K setting. Okay, these impedances that I called out, they're only relative to an uh, 8 ohm loop drive being applied at, at uh, what we're calling the primary, which is in normal use secondary. So we're applying a loop to the 8 ohm input side, or the 8 ohm side, and since the loop's only 12 turns of number 14, the loop probably has quite a bit lower impedance than 8 ohms, so therefore all the, resi all the impedances on the, on the right side are, are substantially lower. But the thing is, when you're using this many taps, you can you can go up and down and try different impedance ratios until you get the best results. What you want to listen for is good spherics, and uh, there's always going to be a little bit of AC hum. I'm at the kitchen table in a pretty quiet spot away from the house. We're away from most of the current carrying wires and appliances, so this is a relatively low hum location in the house. And uh, at the lower impedance settings, uh, if, if this acoustic coupling is good enough, we should be able to hear the, the higher harmonics. They'll go out and get weaker as you get towards the correct match. Once you go past the correct match and go higher in impedance, you'll start to lose volume and overall, you'll lose overall volume. So that's, that's pretty much it for a quickie. I did acoustic coupling, did, did a quick one. We're going to do it before the batteries run out. And uh, thank you for watching. Hope this is helpful to anyone who watches it. This is only an $11 transformer, and uh, I'm thinking, now my receiver, it likes to see a 750 ohm input or so, and I'm thinking that with these higher tap settings, because I'm using the 3.2K and the three, three taps higher, that this transformer could actually be used to drive an op amp without my internal step-up transformer. My receiver uses a, a Tamara MET-01 transformer, 1K primary, 200K secondary. 200K secondary drives the first op amp in the receiver, and then from the common side to the midpoint or the center tap of that transformer is 50K. I have a 100K pot from, from midpoint to common, and I use that as a variable load uh, for, the, for the loop. I can adjust and, and actually help uh, neutralize the harmonics and and above band signals by loading the loop. Turn the loop loading too low, get too low resistance, you start to lose, lose overall volume. So loop loading and the impedance tap kind of work together. I would tend to start out with the loop loading turned all the way up, find the best impedance tap, and, and fine tune the, the uh, response with the loop loading control. But that, that, that should show everything pretty well. We'll play it back, and if it looks good, we'll, we'll dub it onto DVD. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Sorry I had to run it fast, but this is this is the way to do it. Thanks and bye.